this video, I'm going to cover how to turn on blogging comments for your posts. And then from there, also show you a few of the settings that you have built in. Now, there are a few ways to do this, but I am going to focus in on just so you know, from the beginning, the native Squarespace blogging comments feature. So if you're going to use a third party tool or any other tool, which there are a lot that you can use in this video, I'm going to focus on the native built in Squarespace comments for blogs. And just to over communicate, this is for blogging comments. This is not the comments are not for reviews or anything like that. But let's talk a little bit about that now. So the first thing we're going to want to do is let me open up articles so you get a feel of what we're looking at. Uh, this is my sample website with a lot of different adjustments and edits. Uh, but if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see that comments are on. So I'm going to show you how to do this now. And for the moment right now, you can see that I have turned off comments. So it does not show up here in the post. So let's walk through how you turn it on. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to settings and then go to blogging. And then from here, there's a lot of different options. You could turn on the simple liking if you want, accelerate mobile pages, awesome. But for comments, here are the comment settings. So you click into this. It's a little bit hidden at first, but once you hit enable, it gives you a ton of options. So let's take a look at some of these options together, but this is how you turn it on, at least initially. So all you have to do is check this box. Once I hit save, and then I go back to the blog post here, if I click refresh, let's see if it shows up. It may not, and I'll show you why, but if I scroll down to the bottom, comments have shown up. Now, if they did not show up, let me show you how to do that. All right, so the first thing you'll do is go to edit on any blog post, and then from there, you'll click on this up here. So it's the name, the title of the page. If you click on that, it takes you into the blog post settings. It's a little bit hidden, but it'll take you in there. Once you're in here, you could turn on comments or turn it off. So here, just with the click of a button, you could easily turn it on or off. From there, there's also this feature for disabling comments in the future. Let's say you publish something that goes out today. It goes live today, but in six months or even a year, you want to disable comments. Well, you could schedule that now so you don't have to think about it in the future. So here you come in and then choose the day that you want to turn comments off. I'm not the biggest fan of this whole scheduling tool they have, even this random like time thing is not my favorite, but you do have control of this in here. And let me go back so you'll see comments are on. We're good to go. All right, so let's go back to the backend settings for the comment settings and let's talk through a few of these. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. All right, so let's take a look. Enabling comments on, perfect, that's great. Allow simple comment likes. So if somebody leaves a comment, somebody could leave a like. That's cool, you could turn it on or off. Require approval for comments, you could have that process in place. Allow anonymous comments, threaded comments, so you could also show a little avatar. In some cases, you could just turn that off or keep it on however you like. There's no specific preference. And then finally, enable comments by default when posting. So if you just want to turn on comments for one post out of every 10, I would turn this off. So then you would manually go into the post as I just showed you and turn it on for the ones you want to turn it on for. But if you are blogging and you want comments on for every single post, well, it's really easy to just turn that on. And that means any future content you create by default, the comments will be on. From there, you have a few sorting features. So let's see what those look like. First one is oldest first. Next one is newest first. Third is most liked and finally least liked. All right. So there are two final options here for the comment settings. Remember a moment ago, let me go back here. Remember this disable comments. You could schedule it. You could pick a day, all of that. Well, with this feature here, you could choose how many days out from when you publish the post that you want it to automatically disable comments. So you could set it up here all the way up to 100 days. If you were thinking longer, you would just have to do it manually. But in but natively in Squarespace, you could do up to 100 days. And finally, comment flags. This is really helpful if you get some weird comments or people leaving rude comments or comments that just shouldn't be there, you could allow others to flag comments. And then at a certain point, once there's say three flags on a comment, it will then go to awaiting moderation. 
So then you can make adjustments and say, keep this comment, delete this comment, whatever that may be. So if I zoom out and I hit save on all these settings and I go back and then from here, I go back all the way to the homepage, you'll see there's a spot that says comment. And then so in here is where you have unmoderated, approved and flag. So here is where you'll see all the comments show up on all your blog posts. So it's a good place to see everything as it comes in. And just like that, you'll see here is the design uh, setup. So someone can come in here and send a comment post and you'll see just like that, I have a profile. So you'll see my image shows up in the name and everything, but it also shows this flag button. It shows the heart because we added that. It shows the reply because we added the threaded comments. And then here, because it's me and I publish this comment, I could delete the comment. Also, it gives the user the ability to sort all the comments. So oldest first, newest, most like, least like. So it's really easy for the user to shuffle through the comments as well. All right. And because we published this comment, let's go back to comments. We'll see a little bit of content here. This is not the prettiest interface. I think it's kind of ugly actually, but you'll see here the three sections that we have. This one already falls under approved. It's there. And now we have our first comment. Hey, thank you for watching this video. If you got value from this video, hit that like button. When you hit that like button, it tells the YouTube algorithm some important information, but it also lets me know that you got value from this video. And if you did get value from this video and you want more content just like this, consider subscribing. We publish new videos every single week, Friday at 1 p.m. We post a new video, if not multiple videos throughout the week. If you have any questions, drop a comment below, but I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.